자 여러분들 안녕하세요 룩룩 잉글리쉬의 룩쌤입니다 자 오늘은 어, 제 친구 중에 저하고 지금 비즈니스 영어를 같이 작업하는 친구가 있습니다 사실 이 친구는 한 학생이 도움으로 알게 됐는데요 어, 이 친구를 만나자마자 정말 이 친구의 열정에 많이 반했습니다 그리고 그동안 비즈니스 잉글리쉬만을 전문적으로 그리고 한국 학생들만을 전문적으로 가르쳐 온 친구예요 지금은 미국에 있지만 한국에서 한 1년 정도 있으면서 한국 사람들하고 많은 어떠한 인터랙션을 통해서 한국 사람들의 실수를 많이 알게 되었고 지금 현재도 한국 사람들만을 대상으로 특히 한국 사람들 중에서 외국계 기업에 일한다거나 오버시 세일스라고 하죠 해외 영업 쪽에 아니면 해외 마케팅 쪽에 일하시는 분들 중심으로 수업을 하고 있으면서 여러 가지 그 미스테이크나 이런 부분을 많이 접했다고 해요 자 그래서 그런 부분에 대해서 어 한번 오늘 한 여섯 가지 정도 준비를 해봤다고 합니다 자 그래서 그랜트에게 일단은 요 바톤을 넘기기로 하고요 제가 항상 여러분들에게 말씀드리는 것은 어 좋은 컨텐츠를 제공하기 위해서 정말 많이 노력하고 있거든요 그러니까 구독, 좋아요 버튼 눌러주시고요 그리고 주변 사람들에게도 많이 알려주시면 고맙겠습니다 Come on up! Thanks! Hey everyone! My name is Grant I am an American English teacher And for the past three and a half years, I have been teaching Koreans how to speak better, clearer, and more confident English. I met Luke through a mutual friend, and after talking, he was kind enough to let me on his YouTube channel so I can share some of my knowledge with you guys. In this video, I'm going to share with you six words and phrases you can use to make your English sound more natural and more professional. For each word or phrase, I'll explain exactly how to use it, share some example sentences, and then at the end of this video, you will get a chance to practice using these phrases yourself. So make sure you watch all the way to the end. First, instead of saying something goes up or goes down, you should say that it increases or decreases. That is much more natural. Here are two examples. First, my company's profits went up becomes my company's profits increased. Also, we're trying to make our marketing costs go down becomes we're trying to reduce or decrease our marketing costs. You can also add ing to any of these words, like in this example. Sales revenue going up is a big goal this quarter could be changed to increasing sales revenue is a big goal this quarter. That sounds much better. Next, when something increases, decreases, or improves by a very large amount, you can use significantly. For example, his sales numbers improved a lot can be changed to his sales numbers improved significantly. That sounds a lot more professional. Our software will reduce your website loading time a lot can become our software will significantly reduce your website loading time. Significantly is an adverb. If you're describing a noun, you can use the adjective significant like in this example. We're hoping for a big reduction in operating expenses can become we're hoping for a significant reduction in operating expenses. Next, if you're talking about your own company's products and services, you should not say that they are cheap. Cheap has a slightly negative nuance. If something is cheap, it means that it's low cost but it is also low quality and usually you don't want to say that your company's products are low quality instead use affordable because affordable just means a low or reasonable cost it doesn't mean the quality's bad so you can have a product that has good quality for a fair cost and you can say it's affordable like in this example Instead of our products are cheap and good quality, our products are affordable and good quality. 
This next one can be used for the whole Korean Bali Bali culture of always wanting to do things quickly. Instead of saying that you want to work quickly or get many things done, you can use the adjective productive. Being productive means you're able to accomplish or produce many things, usually in a short amount of time, so you can work effectively, quickly, and efficiently. For example, he is the fastest member of my team can become he is the most productive member of my team. That sounds more accurate and more professional. If you need a noun, you can use productivity. For example, let's brainstorm how we can improve our team's work rate could become let's brainstorm how we can improve productivity. Next, instead of saying something is a burden, you can say that it's inconvenient. Burden is not a very common or natural word in English. People don't say that word very often anymore. Inconvenient sounds a lot better in most situations. For example, my long commute is a big burden. My long commute is very inconvenient. That's a lot more natural. An important tip though, inconvenient should describe a situation or an action, not a person. So you would say that the situation is inconvenient, not that you are inconvenient. For example, I have a lot of work this week. I'm really inconvenient is not a correct sentence. You should say, I have a lot of work this week. It's really inconvenient with it's being having a lot of work. Finally, instead of saying that you are overworked or overworking, you can say that you worked overtime. That is the correct phrase to use whenever you're forced to work extra hours outside of your usual work time. For example, I had to overwork this week should instead be I had to work overtime this week. If you need to add ing, you should add it to work like in this example. I hate overworking becomes I hate working overtime. That is the better, more accurate English sentence. All right, hopefully you were able to understand that. Now let's practice. Imagine this is an advertisement for a sales course. Add one of the words or phrases from this video into each blank to complete the text correctly. You can pause the video and then when you're ready to see the correct answers, you can click play. Okay, here are the answers. My sales course is very affordable and easy to follow. After just a few weeks, you will significantly improve. You could also say significantly increase your sales skills. You will close more sales, be a more productive team member and increase. You could say improve here, but I think increase is a little bit better. Your self-confidence. You'll no longer have to work long, inconvenient, stressful hours to reach your sales goals. You'll finally be able to reach your goals and maximize your income without working overtime. Okay, thanks a lot for watching. I hope this information was helpful for you. If you liked this lesson and want to see more like it, I have a blog on my website where I share free lessons I made specifically for Korean working professionals as well as some example clips from real one-to-one -one lessons I've had with some of my current Korean clients. Go to AmericanEnglishWithGrant.com to check out those learning resources today. All right, thanks a lot for watching and have a fantastic rest of your day.